Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Kilobyte Shorts Let's Play of, well, you know what it is, Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, but I just love starting my videos like that. It gets me into a nice, good flow. And we are starting with this. And you're thinking to yourself, ah, I know what he's going to do with that. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. We're not to that point yet. Do not mock me, good sir. No, we are actually not going to be using the home system to go anywhere today. Oh no, yep, what we are actually going to be doing is something slightly different. We are going to be delivering fuel. If I can just find that, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I don't need, okay. Hey, perfect. I'm glad I need that to get out. Bam. <laughs> it's our fuel truck. Yeah, we're going to be delivering fuel. Oh my, whoop. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> oh my god, right? Yeah, so I'm going to try... <clears throat> now, I'm going to try to get this orange tank out there. And the reason I'm using the home module is because it's small, it's functional, it's got a two, seat, two seats for two Kerman, and uh, they have curb, curbal cups, curb cup, curb bucks, curb bucks, that's what it is, curb bucks coffee cups, and that means they're truckers, so and that's what it is in my head, I don't know. Anyway, I was thinking about trying to make a... What's the word I'm looking for? Reusable? Yeah. I thinking about trying to make a reusable capsule. But I'm not 100% sure I want to do that. I like how big these tanks are. <laughs> I wonder if I can forego this, right? And see, now he's, they're like, oh god, oh god, he's doing it again, he's gonna change stuff before you even get started. What do we do, what do we do? Why don't you just sit there and you take it? Um... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There it is. <laughs> I was like, where's my parachute? So what if I were to do this instead? Crazy! Doesn't look as awesome though, does it? Looks kind of stubby at that point. How much fuel does that carry? 56, 1, 6, and 6, 8, 6, 4. 56, 1, 6, 6, 8, 6, 4. And then that's what? Uh, 28, 8, 0, 35, 20. So basically double the capacity of this. How much do they weigh? There's a good question. Uh, 36 and 65. So roughly the same. That's 128. Yeah, no way in hell that's even going to make it. <laughs> that's for use with this to get it off the ground. That's all that's for. So it looks like we're going to stick with that. Yeah, that's what we're going to stick with. Um, hmm. Well, I'm debating this. See, now I'm debating this bit. Because it works right there, right? That's where it's supposed to go. But this thing isn't going to stop and say, like, Hey, Kermit, this is going to stop and say, like, Hey, here's your fuel. Now we're going to GTFO back to the back to the planet. And I do need... Wait for it. Wait for it. This. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could probably just do this with a bolt. Just use two bolts and be done with it. I'm thinking to do that a little bit. I like the idea of a truck, you know, like a space truck, flying up there doing its thing, but at the same time that I like that idea, I also like the idea of just having an automated system up there. And it's really sad, you know why I actually like that idea? It's because Bob's up there and he's all by himself, and I just kind of want to, I want to keep it that way. <laughs> I want to torture Bob. To be like, hey Bob, you're going to stay here, buddy. That would suck for Bob. That would suck a lot for Bob. So, let's see. I'm, I need mechanical jeb, but not the regular mechanical jeb. I want this mechanical jeb. Because that will match, not exactly, but that'll match the length of that. Because you have to keep this thing kind of symmetrical. I, I know, I'm always bugging everybody. Like, Symmet symmetry! Symmetry! But it's not just because I'm crazy. You need symmetry. You've seen how my rockets react when things are off even just a little bit? It goes weird. Stuff goes weird. Okay, so there's our bolt. It looks kind of ugly, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, that's a big one, isn't it, guys? That's a big one. We don't want me no big one. Let's see. Do we want four? I mean, I usually use four. That way, no matter which way I come in, 
you know, I can just lock in. That would make the most sense, I think, to have four. Yeah. Four, not four. I'm trying to think how this thing's gonna latch on. And while I'm thinking of that, I'm also trying to think about what it'll look like. Now, I can put this up here if I really wanted to, but I don't think Kerman can climb through an RCS tank to get, <laughs> to get in and out of their ship. So we'll not do that. So there's that. I think that's it. I think that's all we really need. Oh, I say those things, and yet I'm wrong. Yep, I say them, and while I'm saying them, the wrongness is just flowing forth because... That is not all we need. It is never all we need. We also need solar panels. Those things are off. Now this is just about symmetry. The solar panels don't do anything except collect light. If I'm worried about them being off, it's just because I'm being dumb. But just in case, you know, just in case, we need power. So there's our power. We don't need a lot of power, just that power. Then we gotta get this big ass SOB off the ground. That's going to be fun. So let's find out what we need. I know we need these. We always need these. These are like what make Kerbal awesome. We need, we need these things and doing stuff. Now normally I would do a, th uh, what is it, a three? Or two, two small ones, two big ones, and that would be enough. But this thing seems a bit on the heavy side, you know? More so than usual. So we're going to try it out a little different little different just different enough though you know okay there's that and then we're gonna need at least these so there's there's that I and mean, we want that see no that's not bad it's not bad it's four and four four and four is better than two and two you'd think let's jam these on there and 4.07 1795 with 35 seconds not enough not enough thrust vectoring technology roar that gives me four now that gives me 20 still not enough still not enough um, well, we have an alternative. <laughs> yep, the alternative is to send one giant orange tank up with four giant orange tanks. That is the alternative. That, of course, is perfect for, um, return on investment right there. That is what that is. That is, <laughs> that's just me being an idiot. Uh, which four? These four. So these four go here. Alright, so four giant orange tanks to send up one small orange tank. Yeah, not exactly the most efficient way to refuel a space station, I don't think. So there is an alternative version to, to doing it this way. We'll take more trips. And I think I might have to with these numbers. These numbers are, are saying to me that I won't make it. That's what those numbers are saying to me. They're saying 4K, as much as you'd like to think that you will. You will, in fact, die. Or, you know, be lost in space. So there is an alternative. Now, why is it set still set to two? Weirdness. There. So, 1825 at 145 seconds and 2383 won't be enough. Won't be nearly enough. And, of course, then I can start doing stupid crap like this. Which then increases my weight and everything else but it doesn't really give me a big return so this is not going to work we will call this um no well something fun i don't know why but the term freeloader is coming into my head so we're going to call this freeloader one and we're not going to launch it oh no yeah we're not going to launch it we're actually going to redesign it while i'm sitting here and for that, I already have the redesign in my head. It's not going to look much different than this. It's just, it's just going to be smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. And then I will see you guys back when I get the smaller version put back together. And we'll see which one looks better via the numbers. And I'll see you then. Okay, everyone. Um, here is what I've come up with so far. It is the Freeloader 3. The 2 was not very conducive. This one's a little bit weird because I am running on two smaller and two larger rocket engines and what I'm going to do is when these tanks are empty I'm just going to dump them. But I'm hoping that these tanks will last me long enough to actually help me get to the station and maybe get more fuel there. Uh, for the most part this middle tank is going to be our fuel for getting it onto the station. 
But if we have a bunch of fuel left in these tanks, then I'm just going to drain out whatever's left in these tanks, and then we'll use this as a as a return tank. Um, I am hoping to dock nose first at one portion or another. It's going to be kind of hard because you can see how close this is. Um, but I'm hoping it won't be too dangerous <laughs> or too scary. Um, if these tanks end up being empty, then we'll dump them and it won't matter as much. But hopefully that is enough to get me docked to the station to do the refueling. So I will see you guys up there um, when I'm either about to dock or when everything falls apart. Um, and I'm only going to do this once for you guys, so it doesn't matter how many more times I may have to take this up if it works. Uh, this is just to show you guys what I will be doing to fill up the tanks on the uh, on the Afor or as here too currently unnamed <laughs> station or the short stack. Um, so I will see you guys up there. All right, guys, here we are. Um, still really super laggy for me when I'm recording, but I'm so super close right now. I don't think it matters. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get on the platform like we we're supposed to. Let's go ahead and zip over a little bit. I call it zipping, but really it's just gliding, hopefully, in the right direction. <laughs> nice three-dimensional effect I got going on here, so I can see exactly what I'm doing, though. That's always nice. We'll move ourselves forward a little bit. There you go. That should be about right, right? Let us hope. Let us hope. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how hard I have to hit this, or if I even have to hit it that hard at all. But I'm gonna try to come in kind of, kind of fast. I think a little bit maybe. Oh, 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 bonk. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha we're connected. Um, so unfortunately, and Bob, it's so scared right now. I understand, Bob. Um, unfortunately, see how, oh, wow, I don't even know if you can see how laggy this is for me, but. Um, unfortunately, all we got here was just that. I mean, that's a lot, I guess. But I had to drain some into the secondary engines. Pardon me. I had to drain some into the secondary engines in order to get it to even function a little bit, so unfortunately not great. We have a little bit of fuel in each of these tanks. Let's go ahead and transfer from this one into this one. Let's just transfer all the fuel we can into one tank and see how much we have in toto. In toto, so in. Let's we'll drain all the, the liquid fuel and all the oxidizer and I have no idea why my camera's doing that but there it goes okay so hey well okay well almost half a tank <laughs> almost half a tank so overall it would take me about six trips I don't know if that's good or bad with this design but I had to do some really hardcore finagling with the gas or the, the fuel in order to get up here so I guess it's not that bad um, it does work it is functional much more functional than some other designs I had tried in the interim so let's go ahead and get this big old empty fuel tank off of here. And we'll mosey our way back down. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to control from here. I want to decouple now. Undock, please. Nope, nope. Yep. Okay, now I want to... Please tell me my RCS works. Nope. That is a huge bug. I don't know what that bug is, but that is a huge bug with decouplers and RCS. If you attach to something and then RC, you know, and then you detach, the RCS is gone. It's gone. There's a way to fix it by reloading your game. Um, but you basically you have to save. If you save after the glitch, it saves the glitch. So it's it's really weird how that works. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's there's a partial refuel for everybody to see. So once again, I would like to thank you for joining me for Kilobyte Short on this very short Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program and uh, our refueling of the space station. And I will see you next video.